Today we're going to look at how to use your mobile sales app for Sage 100 to properly do inventory inquiry. How to set it up on the back end and then how to properly retrieve it on your mobile sales app. In my Sage 100 system, the first thing that I want to do is in item maintenance, I want to make sure that I have images loaded and attached to the inventory item master file for each item that I care to inquire for. And then I also want to make sure, of course, that I'm properly managing the balances of inventory on hand quantities for my inventory. Next, I want to go to the setup for remote user maintenance for my iSales 100 application, which is done very conveniently right inside my Sage 100 ERP system. So I pull up the specific user for the mobile app that I'm interested in. And I want to confirm, first of all, for this user that they're going to have regular items, miscellaneous charge codes, comment codes, as well as miscellaneous items. And also, I'm going to select it so they only have finished goods because for my purposes here, I'm not interested in kits, raw materials, or discontinued items. And I'm also going to include a reference for them uh, for barcode scanning purposes of alias items, including customer alias and vendor alias. My next step is to launch my iSales 100 application and log in as the demo user. Next, I'm going to synchronize my data to make sure that I've brought the database locally down to my device. Next, I'm going to pull up my inventory items and I'm going to locate the lamp that I'm interested in inquiring about. Once I'm here, there are a number of things that I can confirm. First of all, I have the image availability available to me directly from my Sage 100 system. I have the standard price and then I also have inventory on hand availability as well as on purchase and on sales order quantities for each warehouse. The last thing we're going to show today is inventory inquiry while you're entering an order. In this case I'm going to sell uh, create an order I'm going to search for and select my lamp. And then while I'm entering the order for that lamp, I can select my warehouse code and once again have visibility to all of my warehouses and my quantities available so I can make sure I'm making the proper commitment to my customer while I'm making that sale. And then the last piece is quantity. Uh, sales, any standard price that's built in uh, to the standard system will be followed through iSales 100. For more information about iSales 100 and how you can effectively manage your inventory and mobile sales needs for your Sage 100 ERP system, please download your free trial from our website or contact us at info at xk0.com or call us at 847 416-2009. Thank you.